In this video, I show you how to edit on CapCut and how to use it as well. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and do consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and do consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure you watch this CapCut video editing tutorial right until the end through the full steps. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. I'm now on my phone. Just a quick note, this guide is also going to work on Android and any other type of device which has got CapCut on. They're all very similar. So the first thing you want to do is jump into the CapCut app after downloading it off of the App Store and all you want to do is go and click on New Project. So it's going to show you your camera roll and all you want to do is go and click in the top right of each video or photo which you want to go and use. So I'm going to go and click on the video just like so and click right in the top right so then you can go and get it. You can also go and click on your photos and it's going to show your photos as well and you can also go and click on stock photos. So I'm going to go and click add. So we've now imported our clips and all you want to do is go and press the play button and it's going to start playing through it and you can go and listen to it. Now just before we go and jump into the editing part of this, the top right will be completely ignored for now and I'll show you that in a little bit, but let's go and jump into the editing part. So all you want to do is go and click on edit in the bottom left just like so and as you can see we can go and resize the video. So as you can see it says pinch I can go and zoom it in just like so or you can go and zoom out as well but I just wanted to fit the screen normally so I'm going to go and fit it just like so and you get that white box then what we're going to do is I want to go and split and trim where I start speaking so I go and start speaking just about here so I'm going to go and click on split just like so and as you can see I can now go and delete the other clip I just split so I'm going to click there and then all you want to do is come to the bottom right where it says delete I'm going to click delete and now it starts where I start talking and it jumps straight into it with that little gap where I was silent. I want to go and edit the end part as well. So there we go. I've now gone and removed the silences from this clip. And also within this edit section in the bottom left as well, we've gone and got split, speed, volume, animation, delete, removing background, style, and we can extract the audio, change the filters, which I'm actually going to go and do. So I'm going to go and click on filter just like this. And as you can see, you can actually go and use these and make it look different. So I could go and add like a red T filter, for example, or just add a tarot. I might use a tarot that looks quite cool and click the little tick. And you can also go and choose how effective you want it to be up to 100. But I'm going to go and click the tick on 100 and go and save it. So now I've gone and done the editing. There is a few other options in here as well, like chroma key, overlays, replaces, stabilizing, opacity, voice effects. There are so many awesome things we can do with the edit section. Now I want to go and show the audio. So go and click on the audio and here there's sounds which we can go and use. So if you want some background music, there's also effects and extracted and you can go and also add voiceovers. So if we go and click on sounds, then here we are, it's gonna go and give us some songs we can go and use. Of course, some of these may be copyrighted, which you got to remember. So if we go and click on vlog, just like so, we've got a ton of vlog um, music. So I'm gonna use this Lazy Sunday one, for example. So I'm then gonna go and click on this plus button just here. And here we go, I can now go and drag to change start and end time. So I'm gonna go and drag it just like so. After playing that back, I can hear the sound of the music. It was way too loud for me speaking. So to go and lower the volume, all you want to do is go and click on the soundtrack just like so, then go and click on volume, and then you can go and reduce it. As you can see, I'm gonna reduce it quite a lot to probably about 20 or 10. That sounds a lot better now. I can actually go and hear what I'm saying. You can also go and use fades as well. So I'm gonna click fade and do a fade in duration and a fade out as well, just to make it sort of sound a bit nicer. So the next thing I want to do is click on this back button so I'm off of audio, but there are a ton more audio effects you can go and check out as well as you can see, deleting it and speeding it up. So click on those arrows and it takes me back to sound. And I click out of this again, and now we're back to our main base. So now what I'm gonna do is go and add some text. So click on the text tool. And as you can see, we can now go and either use add text, text template, auto captions or stickers. So I'm gonna go and click on add text just like this. And I'm gonna go and do this for an example, just like so. So type in what you want and you can then go and change the style of it just like so. So you can go and choose the color of the text and then you can go and choose the color of the stroke as well, the outside part. And you can also go and add effects to it as well by clicking effects, take a minute to load. And you can also go and add these awesome effects to it as well. And bubble as well, as you can see, you could add a speech bubble if you wanted to or you can go and add an animation as well. So I could add this zoom out just like this and go and click on the tick and you can go and change when the text is gonna start. So I'm gonna hold and drag it just like so. I want it to come in a little bit later on. So I'm gonna go and start playing it now. And as you can see, it starts a little bit later, but you can also go and change the size of the location of it as well. I'm gonna have it centered just like that. And then it's gonna go and stop as well. Of course, you can go and add a fade if you wanted to as well. Of course, to do that, simply click on it and then scroll along to animation. And then as you can see, I'm gonna go and find the out click on out and then we can go and have a dilute maybe or fade out and then when it comes to an end as you can see it then fades. So then I'm going to go and click on those back arrows once again in the bottom left 
and then once again click it again and now we can go and check out stickers so stickers is just fairly straightforward it's sort of adding stickers on top of the video so I'll click on one of them for example and it's going to go and put it where my cursor is in the timeline so my uh, cursor is currently here so now when I press play it has this awesome sort of OMG effect as well over the video and of course once again you can go and add fades to that um, and other stuff like that and I'm going to delete this oops one so I click delete and boom we just have this one here and then of course come and go along to animation just here and we can go and add a bounce in and then a bounce out as well if you wanted to just to make it a bit smoother then there's also overlay and there's also an overlay option here as well so click on overlay and we can go and click add overlay just like so and we can go and add another video on top of the video which is already there if you want to have like a face cam or something like that so now I'm going to click on the back button in the bottom left once again. And there's also the effects option as well. So click here and there's video effects and body effects. So I'm just going to use video effects for this example. Take a minute to load and there's all these awesome effects we could go and add. For example, this magnifying glass, click on it and it's going to go and zoom in. So I'm going to turn that off because I don't really want that. Then go and click on the tick to get out of that. And we'll go and click back again. And then we've got format, canvas and adjust. So click on format. Here you can go and choose what the video looks like. Currently it's 16 by 9 the way it was filmed, but you could go and change it into the Instagram format, the one-to-one -one format for example, but I want mine into the 16 by 9 just like this. Then canvas is going to be, is that in colour, background or blur if you wanted to, but I'm going to go and click back on this. And then we've got adjust, so adjust is adjusting the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, exposure, sharpen and highlight. And just a quick note as well, if you add music which is longer than your entire video, you want to go and scroll right along like this until you can see where it ends which is here and as you can see there's just a lot of black screen which I want to go and delete. So simply go and click on the music just like this and we get a ton of options. Then what you want to do is go and click on split just like that. Then you want to go and select the bit which is using the black video and extending it too much which is this side. So go and click on it just there. Then go and click delete and boom it then goes and stops it and as you can see it's gone from over a minute to about 22 seconds. And boom we're now ready to go and export our video. So then all you want to do is go to the top right where it says 1080p or it may have a different number for you and all you want to do is go and adjust these resolutions and frame rates to what you want it to be when it's exported. So for me I want it to be 1080p but I do want it to be 60fps so I'm going to go and drag this up to 60 just like so and I'm happy with that and it's going to go and tell you the estimated file size which is quite big actually and I think the impact of that has been by increasing to 60fps but it's still quite low um, and if you want it to be smaller drag it down and as you can see the file size does decrease so I'm happy with that so click off that and then go and click on the arrow pointing upwards just like this so once it's exporting it's then going to go and give us this option here to where we can go and choose where you want to go and share it so if you want to go and get it into your camera roll all you want to do is go and click on other and it's going to take a minute to load and all you then want to do is go and click on save video so go and click on save video and it's going to go to your camera roll but you can also go and add it to TikTok, Instagram, mail, messages, auto drop and so much more leave a like if you found this useful subscribe for more and peace